All right, welcome back to the Stream Geeks live video production graphics course. In this video, we're going to talk about some of the different graphics that you can use, when you should use them, and where. This is going to be a fun one, so let's jump into it. Now, for this video, I am going to be using vMix. vMix is one of our favorite live streaming and video production software solutions. So you're going to be seeing vMix and the templates that I use um, in, in our video productions. And vMix actually has a bunch of great built-in titles. Hey everybody, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I just wanted to remind you to hit the red subscribe button. It really helps us out and encourages us to keep making video courses like this. So hit the like button and hit the red subscribe button. Thanks. They also have a title editor that we'll look at in the next video. But in general, it's a lot of great places to start for showing off graphics. Now, I'm going to start with this full screen graphic. You can see how this is a nice graphic to get a lot of information across. We're going to show lower thirds, animated titles. I'm going to show you guys some social media comments. We're going to look at an animated logo and show you how you can kind of loop that animated logo. This is the full screen graphic, and then we're also going to show countdown timers. So really cool um, example there of a full screen animated. And you can see it kind of animates itself in, and then there is a way to actually kind of fade it out. So pretty cool. So again, vMix is only for Windows users. So it's this is not just a vMix tutorial. This is an example of when and how to use everything. But I'm using vMix because a lot of people do use vMix, and it is a great software. So when we add an input, similar to in OBS when we added a source, we can go down to titles, and we have all of these options for adding titles into our video production software here. You can see there's some for like scriptures and verse. There's all different colors for bringing in texts and overlays. And it's a really great software for bringing in titles. So we're going to take a look at these. And then in our next video, we're actually going to look at New Blue FX, which is an even more advanced system than vMix. But let's take a look at like one of the kind of standard ones here. This is a standard lower third, and you can just customize the information inside of it. So we'll just write Stream Geeks Video Production Graphics. And go ahead and overlay it on our video. It's that simple. This is kind of the nice part of having a video production software because you can simply click a button, transition the graphic in, and transition the graphic out. Now, a lower third like this is very popular. It's great for announcing the name of your presenter. So if you have multiple presenters on a panel, a lower third is ideal for giving the person's name and their title. It's also really great for a very good intro and outro to your video. So if you want to give people some extra information about what is it, the topic that you're covering and maybe the website where they can learn more, this type of lower third is really ideal. So here's another example of a lower third, and you can see that they are animated. You can build your own animations and use your own colors with these lower thirds. So there's a lot of different flavors and styles for using lower thirds, but they're very popular. It's great, like we showed in our last video, for simply adding just a little bit of extra information on top of your video feed. So if you're doing a Zoom meeting or a webinar or a live stream, just give that extra bit of um, polish to your videos and it's not overly, you know, too much graphics at once. Now you can use multiple graphics at once. And here is one that I want to show you that is an animated logo. So that is the Stream Geeks logo. You can use any logo you want. It doesn't require any After Effects or video processing. It just takes your image and spins it around. And that's a nice one. You could actually use that in conjunction with a lower third. There's no reason why you can't use two of these. You just got to be careful with using too many at once. So we looked at the lower third. We looked at the animated logo here. And we also saw a full screen image overlay, right? A full screen graphic, which is great if you're covering different, different options. In fact, you know, you can still change out 
the video in the background. You might actually want to use some stock footage. You might want to use a video of just a tech kind of uh, gra moving gra animated graphic background as well on top of this lower third or behind this, low, this full screen graphics. There's a lot you can do with graphics and you can see what I'm doing here in vMix as we uh, record this. But you can change the video behind these full screen graphics and kind of really, it's really good for transitional times, these, these full screen overlays. If you are in between a meeting or in between something and transitional moment between your introduction and a speaker or in between, even for sports, right? Uh, in between halves, uh, half of a soccer game, you can start showing these, these um, full screen graphics, which are very nice. The next one I wanna show is social media comments. So again, something that this is really good for live streaming. It's really good for acknowledging your audience. This can be done via Facebook, via YouTube, via Twitch. You can also simply copy and paste comments that are coming in through Zoom or Microsoft Teams and put the person's name and their, their comment. This can be used in a variety of ways. One is it acknowledges that the person is part of your video, especially in a live real-time environment. It allows a speaker to kind of have a curated uh, list of comments or questions that they need to answer. And it really keeps people engaged, especially those folks whose names are being shown up on the screen. It's really nice for uh, you know, curating the information. So if you are a live broadcaster or a video engineer, you can use this tool to pick out the comments that you want your speakers in the Zoom meeting, in the webinar, in a live stream to really focus on. So we'll look at the, how all of that works in an upcoming video, but for now we're just kind of overviewing all the different options that you have. Here's another one. This is a really good one. This is a countdown timer. And this is a really popular one for people who are hosting online meetings, hosting live streams, hosting webinars, where you're giving people the opportunity to know, okay, I'm at the right place, but there's still nine minutes and 25 seconds until it's time to get started. So we have some templates for these, uh, all, of, all of this stuff in the course downloads. So you can gain access to this very easily. All of the graphics and overlays that we're using, you have access to in that downloads folder. And this is a really easy one. So how does this work? Well, this file here actually has a green background. And what I'm doing is I'm using a color key to select the green and remove the green from the background. We could use a transparent AVI file or a .mov file, but those files get really big and they're very processor intensive. So we found that using an MP4 file with a chroma key removal is, is much smoother. So you can remove the chroma key with OBS, with vMix, with Wirecast, and this file is a great little countdown timer. So there you go. Those are some examples of the graphics we're going to be showing off in this course. It's not everything, and we're going to do a much deeper dive and have individual videos for each of these, but gives you a, a quick overview of some of the different graphics that you can include in your videos, your live streams, and your online meetings. I'll see you in the next video.